Can't well, wait to one see more. thing is for sure. If you are sporting the red shirt, it seems to be the winning formula. I'm sure. Go! Can do something here, but the hand ah! looked iron, Travis Pageant. I do appreciate the scream, the yell of Chance Shaw. However, I would have ma imagined a bit better hand and wrist positioning, complete dominance from Petrenko. Say his last name again. Petrenko. Oleg Petrenko. Petrenko. Oh my God, does he? I mean, what a Don't gut move. check required now. A chance oh. sure. The hand was iron of Petrenko, but I'll tell you what, chance sure got a good bite there. And he is nicely carving back. And if he can put some bleed into Petrenko, he may have something here. A little look to the side. Interesting first round. Needs to watch that elbow. But this is on, Travis. Chance is a real sticky place right here. However, I don't feel that he was in love. Just a few inches too off-centered. Not as much pronation and cup as needed. I've seen him in this position. The problem with Chance Shaw is he has never been able to fight once put in any sort of deep water. That was not the ideal start for the Americans. But a little bit of bleed went in there, mate. No doubt about that. And that was a moment of settling. Oh, my word. Champion's response from Oleg Patrenko. And one thing you can say is if uh, there was a gut check moment, if there's a little bit of nerves for Chan Shaw in that first start, when Petrenko's wrist and hand didn't move, what he just felt there may be even more alarming. Like looking out of the bedroom window and seeing a guy at the end of the garden with a hockey mask and a machete. Not good. No doubt. Just a point. And he's definitely not looking for control. He is trying to Don't set move. up a connection Go. in which he tries Go. to get controlled. Most easily done in the set grip. Nothing worse than here than finding out that your opponent's hand is actually better than yours and having that referee commit you to a grip before the set grip. Okay. Just listen to Chance's comments there. He said, I don't want to load against him. That's Sorry. a smart move. Doesn't want to put that pressure in because you give this guy anything to hang on to, he is strong enough to do so. Go! Oh, my word. Run over there, Travis. Not good. Ladies and gentlemen, another lesson that you can learn today is no one can protect you when the hand and wrist strength is absolutely dominating. Chance Shaw's communication, his focus is more on the referee trying to help him let this loose limp grip happen but the truth is is you can't be protected up there when you get to this table you got to come there and fight neil pickup the referee's not going to help you and listen the hand and wrist strength is absolutely dominating this guy is much better at the present time and it's super hard to watch no space even though he's dominating he was calling pin to the culture when he doesn't need that at least get a false start or a foul, my man. Something. Show me that you are alive here and that you understand the amazing obstacle that has taken place. You must false start. You must false start. The fences right now. He has nothing to lose. If he grabs him with two hands, I'm not saying it's justifiable. I'm just saying I understand that you spazzed out and tried as hard as you could. One foul. Okay. Foul on Petrenko. Let's have a look here. Down come the thumbs. Watch for the hands to go down. I don't like Chance's body language there. Needs to move. get high, no. get that gap and go. <laughs> Hanging on again there. And he's got a connection point. Now kick back, kick back, kick back. Second foul. Yes. Winner. Yes, there's a lane here. Now fight, son. Maybe that. When he goes back to the coaching thing, he's got this win here. Yeah, was you know why? Because I was there able was to a spring in that step, was. Travis yeah. Pageant. Let's go. go. Well, they're definitely more concerned, Travis. No doubt about that. He's not Chance, happy with the grip. Yeah, Shoulder. Chance has Shoulder. received a little home cooking here from a fellow American referee, and he is Don't going move. to listen to Chance. He is going to make sure the thumb knuckles are Don't actually move. showing. Which was why there was a hesitation. He's there. doing this. The he's whole time. Low. He's not. Stop. He's not. My riser is knuckle. going down. Then don't match it's a ref pressure I'm in not, a referee's I'm not, and I'm going down. That's what I'm saying. Close your thumbs. I can't That's lose my riser every time. Thing in the for chance, y'all. That conversation without there being a foul call is amazing. Move. 
truly remarkable. Don't move. Go! Big drive there. This is actually good for Chance. Petrenko, not got an engagement there. You feel like this will go into the strap. Oh, he's got a killer grip on that thumb, but this is actually quite good for Chance. If he can maintain there, yeah. look for Petrenko to change direction any moment, though, and really drive forward. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. You feel like this is going to the strap, but that is an ugly position for Chance. What the hell? Chance just full on took his hand off the gripping peg there and pointed to his elbow. No ah! You must have a new level for Chance Shaw to even be able to commit that many fouls without getting one started. But listen, no more about Chance Shaw. Ladies and gentlemen, direct your attention right there. What a beast. Paul Petrenko demonstrating that level. Big smile on his face there. But one thing you can say about Oleg, he looked in cruise control in terms of the power throughout most of them. Look at the hand. I mean, that, that's an impressive performance. That's an impressive display. And in the straps, most of the match, the arm strength was really evident. Chance Shaw with a couple of little bites there, but without the win on fouls, he was never really looking like he could get to the A side on merit. It was a different level of top end to, his, to what he's been used to. And there's no doubt what continues to be the most important thing about arm wrestling is in fact who you are arm wrestling in tonight. But Trenkoff was an absolute beast, not only from the sight of a big shoulders, big hands, but my goodness, able to top roll in the straps against the young American who we thought at any point was ready to start making that climb to the dominance, not only in the United States, but on the world scene, but not tonight. It was all about Oleg Petrenko.